Californian winemaker Joseph Carr named a wine collection after his dad, Josh, who market watches Charles Passy describes in his latest Friday sip column as an everyday guy who drove stock cars, volunteered as a firefighter and served in the armed forces. But the wine that Charles has brought in today seems anything but everyday. The Josh Sellers Legacy Red is a unique mix of Merlot, Zinfandel, Syrah and Petit Syrah. Charles, welcome back. Hey, hey. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a wine named after an everyday guy, but, um, you know, I think, I think it's, it speaks to a, something a little bit more. Um, the story is Joseph Carr, pretty uh, well-known California wine guy, um, has had his namesake uh, brand, Joseph Carr, mm -hmm. and um, wanted to do a project that would be a cheaper wine, but still a very quality wine. Um, and he said, I'm going to name it after my dad, um, who was a beer drinker, yeah, by the way, a, a Budweiser, Budweiser, drinker, Budweiser yeah. exactly. So, um, but he said, you know, um, I think the idea was that this was going to be a value price label. His dad was a hardworking kind of blue collar guy, and he felt that that would be uh, the right kind of fit. Um, um, uh, the thing that's really interesting about this wine, aside from the backstory of his father, is that it is a red wine blend, but it is not a Bordeaux-style blend. You see a lot of that coming out of California. Um, and these red wine blends um, are really hot. They're up something like up mm. like 20% a year. Um, why don't we give so it a try? A taste, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, what I like about it is it's got a lot of fruit, mm. but it is not a fruit bomb, which is what California wines often get accused of being. Um, you know, I think it's very good for the table. He What's says, it work there? I mean, the, zin, the zin is obviously something that really gives you that, that bang sometimes. Yeah, the, has the, the other one that the Merlot I, I would say, softens it. I think yeah. I, you, you just yeah. hit it on the head. I think, I think it's the Merlot that really kind of brings it down, makes it a, a, a table-friendly wine. But you definitely get that character and the spice from the zin. Um, beautiful color. Um, and I love the Price point. It's 15 mm. bucks. I mean, yeah. this is this is almost at that everyday drinkable how, price. How would I enjoy this? Um, you know, this is. I mean, red wine and meat are obviously a, a classic go-to. Um, this has some flexibility. You know, uh, uh, Joseph Carr says uh, he's had it with everything from uh, filet mignon to pulled pork. Um, you know, I think it could stand on its own. I particularly like wines that are a little more table friendly. I do think this is table friendly. But if you just wanted to have it before dinner, just on its own, I think that would be fine too. Well, All right. Cheers. Cheers Again. to the weekend. Yeah, all right.